Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of FAQ OV with your host, Phil Freeman, where I answer all of your questions having to do with singing and speaking and using your voice in a happy and healthy way. And no, I did not wear the same outfit for a whole week because, uh, yeah, I actually filmed two FAQ OVs on the same day. Oh, well. Efficiency. Ha ha. Anyway, J Dog, thank you so much for your question, my friend, about screaming and singing and how to get a healthy distortion in your voice, whether for, like, you know, 80s metal. Ah! Or like, you know, Metal Screaming! You know, or whatever you want to do, like, distortion for. I don't know. Maybe you'll be like, you know, a folk metal lounge band or something. I don't know. Anyway, I've talked about the soft palette in previous videos and how it that's involved with creating a healthy, relaxed distortion that doesn't destroy your larynx. However, I do feel that the, that it is important to address j Dog's question uh, because they're having a hard time with the soft palate right now, and I feel that it, there's more clarification that needs to be uh, brought about. It does involve other things other than your soft palate. Your false chords are involved. There are neck chords that are involved in distortion, depending, and it also depends on what you're using it for. Are you using it for metal screaming? Are you using it for uh, hard rock or 80s metal? You know, it, it depends on the context. But given that, the soft palette is the control center and essentially a mirror for what's happening here. Rather than put so much conscious attention to the larynx and what's going on here, it's so much better to put your control center and your centering in the places around it. And I've said that in plenty of uh, previous videos before. It starts in the sternum with all this muscle and all these things down here supporting it, bringing it in and up towards your mask. That's where you want the distortion to be controlled is up here in the mask by the soft palate and everything else that's occurring the head position and uh the relaxation of certain things so when you go Aah! or Aah! there's compression that's happening in the mask a lot of compression that's happening in the mask however this right here that's actually pretty relaxed there you might feel some vibration here next to your larynx but those are your neck muscles. There are this, sometimes it's, they're called growlers. They, these neck muscles are designed to vibrate in such a way that uh, that would help uh, create that distortion type sound. So it's more relaxa it's relaxation of this and compression of this. And here is a little exercise that you can do to kind of get used to that feeling. If you've ever tried to push something really heavy or you're having like really bad stomach pains, what do you do? You go. Ugh! Oh God, this is, ah, that was heavy or, oh God, my stomach, it's bad. Ah, so it, it constricts the right things. And I don't want you to take this overboard, by the way, because you can take this information out of context and be like, well, yeah, like Phil told me to go. Ah, and that's a bad thing. You don't want the ah, splatty sound. It's like a huh, huh, ah, and that's will create your awareness of the soft palate raising and getting that uh, sound from it. So push heavy things. Next time you like try to, you know, you like you you brace yourself to lift something heavy. Think of that sound and how that's created. And you can do so in a healthy fashion. However, I would strongly recommend J Dog and anybody else that's watching this that wants to try this that you consult a vocal coach before you do this to make sure that you're doing it in the proper way. And unfortunately, I can't just like pop into your existence um, and and check on you. I'm not. I can't be in a million places at once. So I'm I'm trusting you to take this information and talk to the right people about it before you go and do this. But those are some basic ideas on how you can create that that healthy distortion on how the soft palate is involved but it's not the only thing it's simply the control center and uh, another note on that before I end this video think of this as a big funnel like a big rocket like starting here the, here's the jet fuel that propul it, it's a propulsion up to here if you have your head like this you're putting a kink in the pipe you're putting a kink in the rocket it's it's sort of, sort of thing like the point of the rocket here and it comes all the way down like this and then you've got that 
you know, that power that you need in order to get up to there. And obviously, there are different methods in the mask to get up to to the distortion for, like, 80s metal and stuff like Chris Cornell and other ways to move the mask for metal screaming. Every, every uh, method is different when it comes to that. However, it comes from the same places. And obviously, from what you can see in this description of this video, uh, that they are they, that the same tools are used just in different ways. So, given that, J Dog, I hope that this answers your questions about distortion, or at least further clarifies what I've said in the past. And again, do this with uh, with caution and proceed with. Uh, you know, knowing yourself and have self-awareness about your body. Make sure that you don't hurt yourself while you're doing this because this is some, distortion is some nasty stuff if you don't do it correctly. So, okay, everybody, j Dog, and everyone else watching this video, I appreciate your viewership and am looking forward to the next video. Until then, always remember, practice makes progress. With him, And with that, you can go and find your voice or voice or voice or voice or voice, whatever. That might be. So, peace out! Whoa!